For all of your cheap, fast and reliable gaming services, head over to DGZ Gold. The link will be down in the description and make sure to use code R8TD for a 5% discount. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rated here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the working glitches here in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, a like is greatly appreciated. This glitch consists of like eight different glitches this video does. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this and let's jump straight into it. So the first glitch is on the plane wing. Many of you guys are probably aware but this is one of the easiest glitches you can possibly do in the game right now. It's great for the early rounds but all you're going to need to do is purchase yourself a chopper gunner. As soon as you purchase yourself a chopper gun, head over into the location that I'm going to be showing you guys on screen here in just a second. Now this glitch allows up to two players to get into it. So if you guys want to jump in this glitch with a friend, feel free to do so. Grab some headshots and then jump back into the game. And just repeat this over and over again. It's super simple. So all you want to do is line yourself up with a plane wing and just walk up to it and just mantle on top. You guys will notice you'll slide down an invisible barrier. As soon as you start sliding, just calling your chopper gunner and bam, you are officially in this glitch. It's as simple as that. This one is still working and I believe this one won't be patched anytime soon as they haven't really taken care of patching these uh, chopper gunner glitches just yet. So fingers crossed that they do remain the same um, on the next few upcoming updates. But yeah, as you can see, all the zombies pile up right beneath you. The downfalls to this glitch are that the megatons and dogs will unfortunately attack you, but they're no problem if you have the DIE uh, wonder weapon to hand. So yeah, as you guys can see, this one is super simple to go ahead and do. The next glitch we have here is in the Nacta and Totem building, and this one is a super simple and probably one of the best pileup glitches that you can just walk in and out of. This one is in the living room. You guys need to, need to make sure the stairwell is shut right here. Jump on top of this ledge and edge your way back so the crosshairs are like so. Once your crosshairs are in this position, simply just continue to walk forward until you do get hit with another invisible barrier, as you guys will see right here. As soon as you get hit with this invisible barrier and your character starts jumping up in the sky, all you then want to do is move to your right ever so slightly and go up on top of the railings as you can see in the video. If done correctly, all of the zombies will pile up right beneath you and this is great for those camo headshots as well. This one is super simple to go ahead and do and I recommend everyone try this one before it is patched. I do recommend also keeping the stairwell shot as I did say or zombies will come from above you uh, and attack you that way. So just keep that closed. You guys can turn on the power if needed and the megatons will pile up outside of the map. Super simple to go ahead and do and very effective. The next glitch we have here is the coffin dance easter egg glitch. This one I posted the other day on the channel and this is a fairly new one. That's working after patch. All you guys are going to need to go ahead and do is make sure you guys uh, are in and have the power and pack punch built. So make sure you have the power turned on and the pack punch is officially built. And you'll have an anomaly spawn up in the top area in the power room. Uh, you guys want to leave the blue orb that I'm showing you guys on screen right now. And as you can see, like I did say, the anomaly needs to be in this position. Once that's done, go ahead and shoot out four of the blue orbs. But keep that one remaining one that I did show you guys at the beginning of this glitch. So make sure you guys keep that one blue orb in that exact location and do not shoot it at all. All you want to go ahead and do, like I did say, is shoot the rest of the blue orbs and then head back over to that anomaly. Once you've shot all four of the blue orbs and left that one remaining, head inside of that anomaly and just wait until you get kicked back out of it. And you guys will see what I mean here in a second. So as you guys can see, you just want to enter the anomaly and you guys will notice that the blue orb does disappear. But don't worry, you've not failed the glitch anytime soon. You haven't failed it at all. All you now want to do is wait for you to be kicked out of the dark ether. And as soon as you are kicked out of the dark ether, you guys want to spam the shoot button in this exact location. And bam, you will notice you're going to enter the coffin dance Easter egg but you will not be teleported. And that's when you know you've done the glitch correctly. So as you guys can see, you're in the Coffin Dance Easter egg, but you wasn't teleported while doing this. And like I did say, all you want to do from here is jump on top of this railing and do a sprint jump on top of the coffin box. Once you've done that, you guys will notice you'll actually be in an invisible barrier and you just want to edge your way up to this location. 
Once you've done that, you'll notice your feet are floating right beneath you. And that's how you know you've done the glitch correctly. It's as simple as that. This glitch is great. None of the zombies will attack you. None of the dogs will attack you. And none of the Megatons can attack you either. So this is by far one of the better ones. Unfortunately, the downfalls to this glitch is you can only do it once a game as of course you can only complete the coffin dance easter egg once so i'd recommend getting set up and then jumping into this glitch the next one i have here is the pile up anywhere glitch and this works literally on any mantle location i like to say all of the founders for these will be in the description down below if i do manage to find who found these glitches but yeah as you guys can see this mantle glitch all you're going to need to do is mantle up on a ledge when a zombie is behind you and make sure you have a zombie behind you or this will not work so you want to mantle on top of a ledge and as soon as you mantle you want to pull back on your analog stick and you'll notice the zombie glitches out and stands right behind you and cannot attack you once you see that one zombie doing it just finish that one zombie that you left remaining and from this point onwards all of the rest of the zombies will pile up right beneath you this glitch is insane especially in this room all of the zombies spawn extremely fast and by far one of the best glitches for skipping through the rounds and gaining a ton of headshots for your weapons as well but as you guys can see this one is super simple to go ahead and do you can jump in and out of this one as many times as you like and that is by far the best one in this video in my opinion the next one we have here is also in the living room this one here is also located in the living room all you guys are going to need to do is edge up on top of this barrier while you are prone and do this while you're prone otherwise it will not work um, and as you can see you want to just edge your way up while remaining prone and you guys will be hit with another invisible barrier as soon as you get hit with that invisible barrier you guys will notice that you won't be able to move up any further so what you want to do now is very carefully pull back on your analog stick and once you pull back on your analog stick you guys will be able to edge your way around and continue up the barrier once you've reached the top and pretty much touching the ceiling in this room you are now in the glitch none of the zombies will attack you but the only way that you're going to be killing the zombies is by using the unlimited c4 glitch if you guys need a tutorial on that check out yesterday's video i do showcase how to actually do it in depth and it is super simple all you're going to need to do is throw down a c4 as soon as you throw it down it will automatically be picked up but before it's picked up you want to detonate it and that's as simple as it is the c4 glitch is great it can be used in combination with many glitches in this game and by far one of the better ones the last and final glitch we have here to showcase is one that is extremely long to complete but also a great one that's located in the particle accelerator room all you want to go ahead and do is build yourself the etherscope. Once you've built yourself the etherscope, you want to make sure you also have the die machine sitting in the skeleton's hand in the living room. So make sure you guys have set that up as well. From here, all you want to do is go into this location and head into the dark ether. Once you've gone in the dark ether, pick up Dr. Vogel's diary and simply give it to all three of these ghosts. Once you've given Dr. Vogel's diary to three of these ghosts, all you want to do is just wait it out. Once you guys have officially left the dark ether, what you now want to do is head down into the living room and pick up the die machine. This part is how you're going to actually complete the glitch and it's recommended that you do it in this exact order for it to work. All you're going to need to do from this point is simply just pick up the die machine and you guys will notice a brand new anomaly will spawn in the particle accelerator room. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. Once this has spawned in the particle accelerator room, all you want to do from this point forward is just jump down on top of the anomaly that has spawned in this location. You guys are going to need to be extremely careful when doing this as it's a very finicky glitch and it could take you guys multiple attempts. But I can confirm all of these glitches are working as of today so just keep that in mind. If you're failing these glitches it's most likely due to you not doing it correctly. But yeah, that's what I got for you guys in this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you guys would like to see the individual videos of each of these glitches where I go into a bit more depth, I will link them all in the description below. So go ahead and click them and take a look at them. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Share this video around with some friends and help it get out there. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.